value yeah. in the later stages. We'll see if either of these teams... So, are new best friends. Oh, well, we might have a dead bard here. A secret is going to get hit again. And I don't know how that happened so many times in a row, but he is unfortunately just going to give his life away here. As Hybrid says, well, I'd rather solo lane anyway. Losing more and more EXP, more and more gold. Hybrid's hybrid, dead. Uh, listen. He's dead. He's about to become a hybrid. As, uh, oh, all right, that wasn't even balanced. He, uh, smited by Teddy from miles away. He smote him down. Yeah. And things are looking pr okay. Closer. Oh, he missed the. Yeah. Mm. Missed the. Yeah, uh, the can. So. What is Nikki? <laughs> well, he's well, doing a little bit of damage, I guess. But there are three members here in the mid lane, and they're all just staying. They're really trying to force this rift herald. This Mickey is so low. Is gonna survive just barely. Not sure that I can say the same for Secret. As okay, he's gonna take the magical yeah. journey. And they will actually get out of here scot-free. Nobody's going to lose their life in that tree. Uh, oh! Well, I cast a cursed it. <laughs> there you go, cuz. Gonna pick up the kill somehow in the jungle. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is not, not going to end oh, well. Oh, no. Here comes Bard. Oh! But, uh, yeah, that's what I, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> you guys the hear the green, green caster. caster in the back? <laughs> No face breaker, no ultimate available here for effort. They're trying to dive Kana now. Doing a nice amount of poke damage to start us off, but he does have the Spellbinder and he does have his ultimate available. Is just going to go into the pool and see you later. That was, uh, that's not the gank you're looking for. Yep. Let me see if I can play a little Jedi mind trick on them. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Yep. No, Kuma, that's, that's not gonna do it. Secret also. Ooh. Okay. See, that's that's the power of Brad. Is he still chased? He might still be chased. He does not have dead man. Yeah, he's going to give up. We'll always be happy to take trades like that on the Vlad. That's a nice amount of poke damage. Uh, Shelly's actually going to get the charge down. As effort goes in, baits in Ixu. Closer comes in and closes the deal. Uh -huh. Oh! Secret doesn't have his bone plating up. Look at effort. Very squishy. Yeah. Your marketing team deserves a I raise. Added some new products. <laughs> Lockets. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, Sunday and Prince are going to do what they do best. They're going to fight. And they're going to force a fight here. They're going to try to chase down Closer, who actually is in a little bit of an awkward spot here with the Ignite oh. onto him. He's going to be sniped away. You see the goping on a Baron? They're like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do Baron. They're not going to do it, yeah. though. They're, they're not going to do it. And I mean, this would suggest that teammates on Sully One Prince have very, very different ideas of the state of the game. That's only one Prince can hope for at this point. And okay, ultimate oh, used by yeah. Ixu. Here we go. Does he have enough MR to try to deal with this? Empowered Q is going to be enough with the E that comes in. Very straightforward trade here from Kana. And a pretty simple step for Kana to take on his dominance of the side lane. Yeah, I, I mean, it, Alawi does not really fare that well. Okay, here we go. They're gonna oh! try to block down and Secret is just barely gonna miss with the very stylish Tempered Fade as, okay, Teddy's gonna take a little oh! bit of damage, but not nearly as much as Hybrid is going to as that is one angry bear. Definitely a polar bear, guys. And T1 now, they're gonna get the Baron. I mean, Kuma might try to go for the steal. He's down a level. Well, he's spotted. Yeah, there is also a Blast Cone, so. Yeah, he's just gonna flash the wall and he's gonna Teddy's die gonna, anyway. Yep. Down you go. And that is gonna be it by going into the, the Zhonya's path because he knows I don't actually need excess damage. I just need to make oh, sure man. you can't cheese me. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. So he's itemizing well, and everybody's going to die now. We're just going to pop him on the heads with our little red hammer. And down they will go. Only Ixu and Mickey survive, but I guarantee you they're going to be looking to go get in there. As, uh, yeah, that was Ixu's try. Let's see what Mickey's got. What do you got for us, Mickey? You just know Teddy's going to look for it here. Are we diving? Oh! Oh, oh, the fade away did not work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes and stops. 
That's going to be the end of this game. 16 to 1 as T1 make it look like a simple walk through the park in solo queue. That will be game one going to the side of Telecom 1. Well, Teddy, 19.5 thousand damage. Kana also putting on a clinic up in top lane. That was T1 versus Kara Chris, game number one. And T1 grabbed the victory in game one. Well, Horayan tried to play Caitlyn with the recent buff. So this V1 Caitlyn was the signature card coming in from Thorian and Prince. And Bart together with Caitlyn, they have a very strong lane priority. And with Leblanc on the mid lane, they were looking for um, lane priority on the all three of the lanes. But at the same time, T1, they were able to pull off a really nice play with all the picks they took in, on the red side. With their comp overall, they were looking for that late game power spike. Well, outside of the draft, well, actually, T1 was just outclassing Toreon Prince with their mechanics and skill levels. Especially, they were able to bring more aggression on the rift. Toreon Prince, again, they were repeating some of their mistakes during the laning phase. As he mentioned, yes, Sora and Prince, they took Caitlyn as B1 court, but they weren't able to utilize the strengths of this pick. If you actually just miss out your skill, you lose your pressure that you have during the laning phase. So, as Bard missed his Q skill at that early phase of the game, Effort and Teddy was able to step forward. Because Bard, his Q was down, well, Effort just freely entered the brush and went for an engage. Well, that was a very easy kill coming out from Seth and Israel. And as Bard died in the very early phase of the game, Tora and Prince was losing really hard at the beginning of this game. Secret, maybe he could avoid some of the end fights with his magical journey, but overall, his performance was not on point all throughout the game. Because this is a competitive match and all 10 players are actually playing at their full focus level, but Secret was too kind of unfocused and controlled with the usage of his ability. Let's take a look at the other highlight. Hana looked so poised over here. But at the same time, it was Hara and Prince that were actually wasting so many skill shots. Bard. It was too obvious that Hara and Prince were looking for a kill onto Vladimir. Well, as a pro player, actually, the player should have been more. Um, precise with the spell checks, especially even though Vladimir has his um, flash up, Bard chased him after with his flash together. And because Sora and Prince, they kind of made too, put in too much effort in the top lane fight, well, Caitlyn was well already that at that point of the game. And that was definitely a huge um, losing trade on the side, side of Thorian Prince because four of the Thorian Prince players were chasing Vladimir, but the, they couldn't get the kill. And then Caitlyn fell to four members of T1. T1 is coming back to their form. And with this underperformance coming out from Thorian Prince, they were able to gobble them up and keep leveling up their performance. Let's take a look at the player of the game on the side of T1. There were some players that contributed really a lot of um, effort in the early phase of the game and definitely it was effort on set this time around. Well, even though Seth was one of the um, high priority champion coming out from the support role, that was not some of the um, favorite champions for effort, but this time around he has proven himself that he can also pop off with this pick. Effort is definitely now on his best form and we can tell that T1, they're speeding up their tempo. And a lot of people are saying that the playmakers, the support and jungle junglers in T1 
they are performing even better coming in from this week 7 and week 8. Effort picked up 8 votes out of 12. And some of them votes went over to Kana, Closer, and also Teddy. Mm. Vladimir also was able to have a power spike, which usually happens in the very late phase of the game. Korea and Prince, they have to cut their losing streak. However, T1 kind of showed a huge defeat in all five lanes.